These power lines mark what was once the main road of the village of Samyot Chin. People here call it the floating temple. It only survives due to the stubbornness of its monks who have built sea walls and raised the entire complex. The shoreline has moved more than half a kilometre inland over the last three decades. Sajai Visusin has lived here for 72 years. She says she's heard of the climate crisis but isn't sure what it is. But she's felt the impact of the changing shoreline. I've had to move my house 10 times because of the sea. Just north of her home is the capital Bangkok. It's home to 10 million people. Once known as the Venice of the East, the city is also sinking. Some estimates say by up to two centimetres a year. The city is built on a floodplain and it's experienced a boom in recent years. Concrete sprawls in every direction. Many of the canals have been paved over for roads, leaving the water with nowhere to go. Compounding the problem, the sea in the Gulf of Thailand is rising four millimetres every year above the global average. That means it's steadily encroaching on the land. New data from Climate Central estimates that 10% of Thailand's population is living in areas likely to be underwater within 30 years. But authorities have been dismissive of the report. My view is this research is only a theoretical prediction and unclear. There are still opponents to this theory and there are many different theories as well. It depends on what we believe in. The government is researching new canal projects to slow the flooding. And people in this sinking city say further action can't come soon enough. Daniel Quinlan, TRT World, Bangkok.